Hi and welcome to my channel again. Thanks for joining me once again. Today's video is about Amazon product reviews, specifically how to format them, set them out, and how I actually do my uh, product reviews. I had a comment from a, a subscriber, which was really nice. I love getting comments and uh, answer in the question, how do I format and how do I write Amazon product reviews? So I thought, well, I've got one that needs uploading to one of my niche websites, so why don't I bring you along on the journey? I'm going to show you live, step-by-step, -step, how I format and edit, add links, add uh, images and tables, etc., into one of my product reviews. Uh, it is going to be a little bit long, so I suggest you make yourself a drink, settle down, uh, and have a look at this video with me. It's a live recording, so there is going to be some errors. Uh, I'll leave them in there. Uh, it's, it, this will show you a true reflection of what I do and how long it takes me to do my Amazon product reviews. I will fast forward through some of the laborious bits um, so you're not too bored, but hopefully you'll stick with me to the end. There's some great tips all the way through it, and at the end of it, we should have a lovely Amazon product review. So uh, make yourself a drink. Let's settle in and get into this. So here we are over at uh, hutchandcage.com, one of my niche websites. And as you can see, this is the article in question, Best Rabbit Hair Feeders 2020 Guide. As you can see, we've got nice images. We've got the products that we're going to review, table of content, some nice um, formatted words, subtopics, and then the products themselves. And as you can see, this is how I kind of list my product review. So as you can see, we have the header, which is a link. We have the product itself. Now this is using uh, the API plugin called Content Egg. You can also use AWP, which is another one. Or in fact, you don't even have to use any plugin at all to make this kind of review. So all these little pros and cons and boxes are all actually features within Gutenberg and within your WordPress dashboard. So everything you actually see on here and the way it's being formatted can all be done for free and within your WordPress dashboard. So there's no nothing actually you'll need to buy to actually produce an article that looks uh, very similar to this. Like I said, I will show you, I'll show you how to form it exactly like I do, which is using Content Egg. And then I'll show you exactly how uh, I format the my product reviews uh, with without using Content Egg or any other plugin, just simply using Gutenberg features alone. So as you can see, it's quite a lengthy article, a really good article, and it's kind of the same format that I use throughout all my product reviews on various sites. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So let's go to the article itself and let's take it from there. Okay, so here we are over at the article. This is in the raw format. So this is exactly the kind of format I will receive it from my writers. As you can see, there's no images, there's no pros and con buttons uh, or uh, boxes. There's no images or anything like that. It's just in the raw format. So uh, as you can see, it's 3,089 words long. So it's quite a good lengthy article. I'd always recommend any product reviews always to be 2,500 plus words for a decent product review, especially if it's a, a top 10 review. Uh, so first thing we need to do is just simply copy and paste all this. And head over to our WordPress um, dashboard and go to add a new post. and simply paste the article directly into the website. And as you can see, it's laid it out in some sort of format. It's obviously not looking great. Um, so we need to format this, and this is exactly what I'm gonna show you to do. So step by step, 
stay with me, follow me, it's going to take me a while, but you are going to see me do this live, and exactly what I do uh, to produce my uh, product reviews, my Amazon product reviews. So uh, stick with me, some of the parts I will fast forward, I don't want to bore you um, being repetitive and show you the same thing twice, but uh, yeah, I'm going to start now and let's crack on and get this done. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the title into the correct place and delete the old title. Then the next thing I will do is go through the um, headings and start formatting the headings. You can see that we have an intro and then how to find um, rabbit hair feed, uh, feeders. So the first thing I'll do then is go through and put all the headings into H2 settings. You can see here you can adjust your settings. I was doing my main headers in H2 settings. So I'll go through now and um, put all the headers in place and then stick with me and then we'll come back and um, show you the next step. So these little headings here, so these are what I call subheadings. So you have your main headings here in H2 and the subheadings if it's part of a section, so how to find the best rabbit hair uh, feeders, then this is now telling you what you should look for. So this heading falls within this category. So this is a great chance now to reduce that to a H4 heading, which will also give us better on-page SEO because we've got different heading setters. So I'd go through this. Uh, again, this belongs to that same main heading. So I'll put that in H for setting again, get rid of the old one. So again, is there any more? Yep, so that one's part of that main heading. So let's do that again, put in H4. So then we're on to, okay, so now we're on to a different topic so this is not part of the, the uh, paragraph above so this wants to be h2 and again get rid of the old one so now we're talking about um, rabbits eating fiber which is obviously the hay that goes in the hay uh, feeder so it's relevant to the article so it's, it's adding information it's adding value so that wants to be its own H2 setting. So now we're explaining about hay and why it's vital for rabbits to have hay. So we'll put that in a H2 heading. And again, get rid of the old heading. So now we're on to the actual products um, reviews themselves. Okay, to actually start doing the product reviews, first thing I want to do is divide. So we have the information here all the top section is information and we're actually going on to the product guides so this is um, now a, a kind of a separate part of the review so I always like to separate the product from the information okay so we go to add a block and type uh, line separator it's called and then I go to styles and I go to a full width, width separator so it puts the line straight across and I put it to a nice dark black color and what this does now, this actually separates um, the products away from the information. So if we go over to preview, I can show you exactly what I mean by that. So as you can see, here's the information that we've just put in our nice headers. And you can see now we have a line here that separates the information from the products. So we can now start adding the products. And I'll always start by adding a header and what the article is about so it's the top 10 rabbit hay feeders and i just want to centralize that and leave it in h2 setting so now we go on to the uh, exciting part so this is the part where we add the product reviews which is um the part that's going to make you your money uh, and as you can see we already have the links for the products within the headers but these don't look very good at all so I'm now going to format it into a nice uh, art product review for each one. So we have 10 of these to do. So what I'm going to do is show you the first one. So this is how I would format it using Content Egg. So the first thing I do is put the uh, name of the product. Now I always do it in reverse order. So I'll do number 10. 
and work uh, kind of down the list. So number 10, so it's this one here, which is the, um, So I don't always put the exact name. I'll, I'll put one that's more appealing. So uh, Night, Night Angel Wooden Hay Rack. Sounds good. Let's head over to Amazon and get... So here we are over at Amazon. So you just want to go up to this top corner here and grab your text link. So I'll do that now. So you always want to use this uh, full link uh, rather than this short link. The reason being, if you ever need to change um, your uh, tracking ID, you can do that using a plugin, uh, which would change all the IDs across every single link that you have in your website at just the, the touch of a, a button. Um, but only works if you have the full links. So you always need to use the full links. And then we're going to go to our heading here and make that a clickable link. So it's often um somewhere where people will go to actually click and then i make it open in a new tab and i make it a, a no follow link so we'll just put that in there which now means we can get rid of this tiny little header so there we go so we've now got the, our product name in there looking good the next thing we need to do is add a, an, an image of the product so uh, what I'm going to do is show you using Content Egg, which is a, I think they have a free version of this uh, product API pull-in plugin, um, but you can also just use Amazon Site Stripe, which I'll show you um, in product number nine. I'll do that with Amazon, which is what you can do totally free of charge. You don't have to have any plugins at all. Like I said, this review can be written pretty much identical to the one that I, I showed you in the beginning without spending any money at all. So to use the Content uh, Egg app, I need the URL for the product and go to my Content Egg app, which is down here. You can see Content Egg Pro. I am, um, uh, subscri I am, I am a paid member of their Pro. I bought their Pro version. Um, you don't have to, you can use their basic free one. Um, then click enter the URL in there and as you can see it comes up with the product. I simply uh, add the product to my list and I click product card and I grab the short code. It's as simple as that. And then come up to the product, the one that we're uh, formatting at the moment which is number 10 and just click add and click uh, find your short code widget and then enter the short code in there. Um, click save. And if we go to preview now, you'll be able to see the actual product is now in there. So here we go, go to preview. And if we go down to product number 10, as you can see, there we go. We have our lovely product. And there's the features that it's pulled in. So this is part of the app. So from here to here is part of the app. And then this is the information that we've put in ourselves. Now, uh, I like to tidy things up on the site. Um, I'm a stickler for gaps and spaces and making it look right. So as you can see between here, the, our title and our plugin, there's a bit of a, uh, there's no gap. Basically, it looks, it looks poorly done. So... You know, the, the, the devil's in the detail, as they say. So the way we'll do that is just to add a spacer. So we'll just go to here, this plus bar, and we'll just find spacer, which is, again, a widget within Gutenberg, and it's, it's free. Click that, and over on the right-hand side here, you'll see you can adjust the amount of space. So you can make the space very big, and we can make it really small. So I just want to reduce that and just put a, the minimum space you put is 20, which is absolutely fine. So I'll just save that now. And if we go back again, I can show you, it just looks a little bit more professional and well planned. So let's just have a look. So if we go to product number 10, you can see now we've got a little bit of a gap there. It now looks a little bit more professional. In fact, I mean, you could add a bit of a gap here between the, the title which is here, which I'm actually going to do because I don't like that. So go to spacer 
And again, we'll leave a bit of a gap. I might leave 30 on that one. Save that. Let's just preview that. See if that looks a little bit better. Like I say, guys, I, you know, the devil is in the detail. People can tell a well thought out professional website. You, you're going to get more clicks and more purchases if it's um, if it looks right. So there we go. That nice little gap there to start the um, to start the product reviews off. So yeah, much better. So now what I need to do is actually so all the text is done. I've nothing to change that. I've checked the writer. The quality of the writing is fine. So now we need to just change the. Um, the pros and cons so as you can see at the minute it just says pros and cons uh, in black just in the normal um, typing font so I'm just going to change that so the way we do that you just go to header and type pros and then if you come over to the right hand side I want a nice big pros so I'll put in h1 and I'm going to choose the color and obviously pro is green for pro and I'll just get rid of the um, standard um, writing there. So now, as you can see, we just leave the word pro and we'll do the same with cons. So again, cons, H1 setting, color, obviously is red, and delete the original one. So now, as you can see, we've got pros and cons. No plugin needed, very simple, dead easy. And then the next thing I like to do is to add uh, a final um, call to action uh, and I always send them back over to Amazon again. Now, I don't use buy now or uh, purchase here or anything like that. I tend to find that's uh, a little bit off-putting. I, I always think if I click a buy now button, then I'm committed to purchasing it rather than I want a bit more information. So you do have to be careful what buttons and... Um, uh, information you put on here when you're sending people over to Amazon so you don't break any Amazon's terms and conditions but one thing you can put which is very catchy and a little top tip uh, is put uh, read more customer reviews over on Amazon now that is not breaking any Amazon's terms and conditions uh, people can click this and they are going to go over to Amazon you have then got their cookie um, but like I say you're not breaking any rules or terms and conditions or anything so let's grab our text link for that here we are grab the full one go over to the article and again insert that as a clickable link again I want it to um, open a new tab and it to be a no follow link and then I simply, this is a real nice little tip then now. So you don't have to create a button or anything for this. You could just leave it as that, to be honest. But I like to um, add some color. So now this will add a, a box looking feature. I always use, if it's going over to Amazon, I use the orange, which is kind of the Amazon color. Everybody knows that orange is Amazon. So it kind of represents where they're going to go. So yet again, you're not fooling anybody. You're being honest. You know, I'm sending you over to Amazon so you can read some customer reviews on the product, which they can. Uh, and then change the writing to white. And then up here in the text settings, I just change that to medium. And as you can see, we've added a nice little box there. I'll just save that and head over and we can preview that. Let's see what this looks like. So, so again, our title, which is clickable, nice spacing the product, the features, the information, the pros and cons, and then we've got our customer, um, read more uh, customer reviews. And again, if they click this, obviously they're going over to that product. And here's the customer reviews over here, uh, questions answered, it's got, there's a star rating, so we're not lying, they can actually see some customer reviews. Um, so again, we need to have a look. So, so formatting and spacing again. So the first thing I'm going to do here between the cons and the bots, there's no space. So let's tidy this up a bit. Click the box again, click a spacer and put a nice little 20 space in there. That's absolutely fine. And then the next thing I'm going to do, obviously we're now on to our uh, next product. So I'm going to put a spacer in again. And for the spacer, full width line, and choose the color black. 
but again, I need a bit of a space here, so let's go to space, 20, click save, so if we now have a look, let's see what it looks like, now it's all got some nice spacing and formatted, so there we go, so we've got the article, so lovely, so we've got a nice little space there, and we've got a nice little space there, before we can start our next one. So that, that's how, exactly how I do the product review. So that one is done. So product number 10, um, this uh, Night Angel wooden hay rack is finished. Now I'm gonna show you uh, how you can do something very, very similar, but just using Amazon Site Stripe and not actually using any uh, plugins or anything you need to pay for. This is a, a totally free way of doing it. So. Um, here we go, we'll start this next one. I'll show you how to do it manually using Amazon Site Stripe. Okay, so the first thing again we're gonna do is start off with our heading. So like I say, we work backwards, it's a top 10 review. We're now on product number nine, and it's the um, this one here. So I'll just put the heading in for this. So again, rabbit feeder, it's a rabbit hay feeder. So I'm just gonna change that. So now we can get rid of the original title. Actually, sorry, we just need to go get the link. So let's just click the link. And again, let's go get the Amazon Site Stripe link. So again, using the full link. And now we can put that into our heading. Again, making it a open a new tab and no follow link. So now we can get rid of the original one. And there we go. So again, spacing, I'm just gonna add a spacer here. Like I say, I'm a bit of a stickler for making them look perfect. So if we save that, I head over to the preview. Just make sure we've got the spacing right. So if we take a look at the um, article, there you go, you see, so we've got a nice little space between product number 10 and product number nine. That gives us a good base to work on. Now, what I'm gonna say, like I say, I'm gonna show you now how to put the actual product in without using Content Egg. So we simply go over to Amazon and we'll click the image, click large and get the shortcode there. Head back over and what you want to do is click the um, new tab and we want the for this uh, program or theme I'm using, we'll need the HTML box. So we paste that in there, click preview, and you can see the products there. Now um, I need to convert that into a block, which we've done there, and simply get rid of that block there. So now, as you can see, we now have the um, clickable link there we have the product using amazon site stripe and it looks absolutely fine now you can add um, a little box a little buy now box if you wish under there to make it look very similar to your um, um, to the plugin that i use but it's not necessarily um, when i'm using amazon site stripe i'll just simply leave it at that then we have the wording there and again we need to do the pros and cons so we'll do the uh, pros first, H1, set it as green, get rid of the original one, add the cons, H1, in red, oops, sorry, and get rid of the original box, and let's add the, um, add a space, Put it to 20 before we add our call to action, which is to read more customer reviews over on Amazon. So let's go get the link for that. So again, we'll use our full link and we'll just paste that into there again open new tab 
it's fine. Okay, so let's change our color. Let's put it to Amazon orange, text in white, text medium size. That looks absolutely fine. And then again, we'll put a space of 20. And then we'll put our separator, which is going to be full width in black. And that's it. So if we click save changes, we can now preview what it, this will look like. Like I say, this is using no uh, plugin at all, totally free method. And as you can see in a second, it looks um, just as good. So there's the one using the content egg. It's fine. And then here's the one using Amazon Site Stripe. Again, absolutely fine. So there's your click, there's your um, commission, there's your cookie. And when they click that, um, you've got um, obviously the image will click over to Amazon and the title will click over Amazon. So you've got three ways of generating some commissions on this. So it looks absolutely fine. So, but for this um, product review, I'm now going to continue. I'm going to use the site, uh, use the content egg, and I'm going to continue throughout this um, top 10 review. Uh, I won't bore you with this and I'll be repetitive. So what I'll do is I'll continue to do this, but I'm going to fast forward and we'll get to the next bit. So see you in a few minutes when I've done this. Phew. Okay, so we have all our products in. So if we um, go take a look at the preview, we can now see what the um, 10 product reviews look like. I've changed um, them all to the content egg um, version, so they all look the same. So here we are, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So that's it. So that's all the products done. Um, now what I'll do is I'll take you on to the next step and we'll go through and finish formatting. We now have some FAQs on here and we've also got the winning products, the one that from the 10 that we've reviewed, the one that we're going to recommend Okay, so the next part we're going to do is with all my product reviews, I always do uh, an intro here and then I always do a quick um, look at the 10 products. So um, I put something like quick peek at the top 10 rabbit hay feeders. And then I'll just bold that there make it medium and then I'll go to my content egg uh, plug in again now you don't have to use this you could just simply list the top 10 but I like to uh, just use the features that's within this so I'll get I'll grab the product list and I'll just put this right at the very beginning so if somebody just wants a um, to just simply just look at the top 10 really quickly, they can do. So I'll show you what that looks like. Paste that into there, save that. And then I'll just head over to the preview. And I'll show you what that looks like. So you're basically going for the cookie straight away. You're grabbing the, um, the 24 hour cookie to make your commission. So there we go. So it's now intro quick peek at the top 10 rabbit hair feeders so they now know these are the ones that um, are going to be featured and then we have our information which is all for to help the article rank with the SEO and then we have the products and then we go back into more information which is our FAQs and finally finishing with conclusions and um, the winner picking the 
the best one out of the uh, 10. So let's go ahead and continue um, formatting this um, Amazon product review. So the next thing I'll do then is go to the um, heading. So here we go. So um, also the next thing I'll do is I'll add a video. So we've got this here. So although this is a product review and we're trying to get people to buy um, a ready-made hair rack, it's always good to give people as many options and as much information as you can. So um, how to make a DIY um, rabbit hay rack i found a video on youtube so if i find anything that i think is going to make the article more informative um it will detract them from buying because let's face it you know there's not many people out there that want to actually physically get some wood and start making their own hay racks They're, they are going to probably end up buying one but if they watch this video it's going to keep them on page a lot longer and it'll be better for our uh, SEO as well. So let's have a YouTube video and make the uh, product review a little bit more interesting. So I'm just going to go grab a um, YouTube video um, URL. So I found a nice little video. So I'm just going to add it to, um, uh, again, our Amazon product review. So I'll just enter the uh, embed code there. And as you can see, there's a nice little video there. And then we'll continue with our formatting of our um, headers. So we'll go to this one. So just copy this into a H2 heading. And get rid of the original one. That's fine. And then we've got the FAQ. It's always good to add an FAQ. Now FAQs will help you rank for secondary keywords. So a lot of the... Um, questions and answers that's going to be in this FAQ section which you can see here um, can rabbit hair fevers, uh, feeders hold salads uh, can I use it uh, and can I use that should be a hay feeder in a playpen are rabbit hay feeders spring loaded all these are questions that I've found from Google so if we type this into here you'll find that one of these questions one of these searches here will have had that exact phrase our rabbit hair uh, feed is spring loaded so that is a secondary oh there we go look includes there we go look includes spring loaded so that keyword there spring loaded will actually um, be in the google search somewhere so that could have a search volume on its own so simply putting this faq within this product review could pick up some extra traffic so there's our faq which is already nicely formatted don't really have to do anything about that and then we'll tap the winner so the next part i always do is actually say to the readers this is actually the best one this is the one we recommend now that could be the one that you generally think is the best one that's got the best customer reviews um or you know it could be the one that's got the most profit it's entirely up to you and your how you feel about doing product reviews i like to be totally honest and open and uh, i don't always list the most expensive one or anything like that so um i'll always list the one that i feel is best and to be fair if i just show you now this is the one that we actually thought was one of the best um, we looked at the product reviews on Amazon. Uh, we looked at customer reviews in, in other forums. And it said that this one was one of the best. It's, it's made of, out of a birch wood, so it's harmless if the rabbits chew and gnaw at the wood. Um, it can be used in play pens, cages, hutches, anything. It's quite universal. And it was only $22. And as you can see, it's got 4.8 out of 5 star rating. So it was a good product to actually recommend. So... Um, as you can see, we've recommended it here as the winner. Um, I'll go a little step further and actually put the image of the winning product. So I'll just go grab this code here. Go to image on the site stripe. Come along back into the uh, article and add it as the HTML. Drop that in there. Format that to a block and position it on the right hand side and then just write available on Amazon and then just get the link for that 
again using the full link and just add that into there bold it make the link and insert the link make it a uh, open a new tab and a no follow and just add the alt tag which is a hay rabbit hay feeder rabbit hay feeder there we go that looks good um, and then I would add a conclusion I, I'm not going to do this right now but I would simply do conclusion and a little top tip here whenever you do your conclusion always add your keyword so the keyword here is the best rabbit hair feeders 2020 review so add that as your conclusion title I've really found it helps uh, to rank the articles um, it's a nice little on, bit of on page SEO and then obviously I would uh, start I'll add probably about 50 to 70 words saying why we thought this was the best hair, hair feeder so uh, that's the conclusion there okay so once I've added my conclusion the next bits I'd like to do is actually add another um, call to action so um, we've got our intro we've got our quick peek at the top 10 we've then got some information so we're getting them hooked into why they should buy one of these products and then the next thing I would usually do is add another uh, call to action which would be to uh, put something like um, in a hurry question mark see our top pick for the best rabbit hay feeder from our review here You could actually put so in a hurry. Skip the rest of this artic article and see our top pick. Yep, that looks better. So let's put that. So let's put that in the middle. Let's also now we'll keep it at normal, but we'll go for a green with white writing does that look good actually I think we'll go for the stick with the theme that we have already across the the page we'll grab the uh, link here and we'll insert the link into here and again we'll make that into a no follow and open a new tab so as you can see if we just save that now you can see this is just another call to action if they, they're not bothered about reading the whole article they just want to basically buy it it's only a $20 item after all so they just want to come to the site and go right okay what's the best hair feeder, feeder? just tell me uh, they can simply click this box so here we go so we've got the header intro products little bit of information and then we've got them hooked here we go skip the rest of the article go straight to our top pick and there we go so yep yeah, that looks fine I'm happy with that so the next thing I want to do is just add another product into um, you can see where we've actually done the information on hay and why rabbits should be eating hay so we've mentioned here that uh, Timothy hay is a really good product so what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more of a link into that so let's just um, go to Amazon again and let's just put that in there now I know Timothy hay this box one is a really good product for me so I'm just going to grab the image for this now let's just grab the again the long large curd and I'm just going to put it into the um, section that's all about hay so here's our section about hay so I'm just gonna add that into the HTML again using the site stripe so there's no plugins or products needed for this 
put that in the center. Available on Amazon here. Let's grab the text link for that. That's that. Let's enter that. Let's put in a um, open new tab. Alt tab is Timothy Hay for rabbits. There we go. For some reason, it always adds a little box underneath it. I don't know why. So there we go. I'm also going to highlight the word there. So that's an in-text link, which is often the very best links. Again, open a new tab and no follow. Save that. So if we now go to preview, we can see what that looks like with an extra um, product, an extra chance of making a commission. So let's just take a look at that. Also adds a bit of more depth to the article. You're not just about the uh, the hay feeders themselves. You you you, you add in an extra um, product in there. So there we go. So you see that looks really nice. Looks natural. It's um, it's all about you know creating uh, products that are relative to the article. So that certainly fits in well with the article. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some images and. Um, spice up the article make it look nice and pretty so the first thing I'm going to do is head over to uh, canva.com which is what I use to create my um, thumbnails and Pinterest images so let's have a look at that let's get that done Okay, so I've created our uh, featured thumbnail and also a nice pin that's going to be shared hopefully across Pinterest. So I'm just going to add these now. So if you go into the um, heading and select your featured image, you can see I've uploaded the image here. So we've got our um, alt text, we've got our title, and we've got our description, which you must do for all images that you put on your website. And then the next thing we're going to do is add a thumbnail um, about sort of 10% of the way down into the article I always find is is good people have not lost interest by then so we're just gonna put a little alt title on it so it's a rabbit hay feeder and it's a what's the description what is the article or image representing it's the best um, rabbit hay feeders 2020 so we'll add that. I then centralize it and I make it 50% of the size. And if we just save that and take a look at the site now, we can see we should have some lovely images on the site, which is gonna make it look and stand out. Okay, so there you go, you can see, nice little image created absolutely for free using canva.com. And there we go, we've got our products. And there's our nice little pin, which you can, uh, people can share, which will gain you backlinks, and uh, it's great for SEO. So, perfect. So, that side of it's now done. I think the next thing we'll do is add a couple more images. So, we've now got a section here, obviously, about rabbits eating. So, I'm just going to add a couple of images. So, let's add these images. Again, these images were found over at uh, Adobe Stock Images. You can see the images I use here. These are all paid for images, so they're license free. You can use any of these and you've got the license for it, so you're not gonna get into trouble for sharing any um, images that you don't own the license for. So I do have a package for Adobe Stock um, Images and I pay, it's, it's about, 
$30 a month and I get X amount of images for free. So uh, here's a few images I've got. So I'm just going to put these in. Again, put a description. It's, uh, that's an image of rabbits. And it's again, it's the best rabbit hay feeders. Insert that into the article. Looks good. Just save that. So I think if we take a look at the uh, review now, the Amazon product review, and uh, hopefully, guys, you're finding this tutorial um, helpful. It is a live tutorial, so yeah, there's going to be mistakes in it. I'm only human. I'm just trying to help you guys out and hopefully help you create some beautiful uh, Amazon product reviews uh, using your WordPress um, site. So if we take a look at the site, you can see now, so we've got the, we've got a nice featured image. We've got a title, we've got our intro that grabs them. We've got a quick peek at the products. We've got our table of content. We've got our information. We've got our Pinterest pin. We've got our quick cookie grabber. So in a hurry, uh, skip the article, click here. We've got some nice images got some more products and then we get onto the product reviews which we've gone into in um, quite some detail and then we're back over into information we've got a, a video we've got a, a frequently asked questions section which again will be great for SEO and should grab some extra traffic and then we've got our winner we've got our links there for our winner we've got one two, three links, and then we've got our conclusion, and we are just about done. So there you go, guys. So that's um, a quick tutorial on how I do my product reviews. Like I said, this is a live tutorial. Uh, I hope you find it helpful. I'm just about to publish this. Now I'll finish the conclusion at the bottom, and then I'll add some in-text links to... Um, uh, other articles that I have which is great for um, indexing and ranking all your articles and creating that interweb of links from article to article so Google can crawl your site so a, a product I use for that if anybody's interested is called link whisper uh, I am an affiliate for it so if you do click my link I'll leave it in the description below it is an affiliate link I will earn a commission from it when you install it on your site, it really helps you link your articles quicker. Here you go, you see, so this is Link Whisper here. Uh, it, it's such a, a, it's a great little product, it really is. Um, if you've got more than, let's say, 30 or 40 articles, you start to lose track of which articles you need to interlink. So which article would lead perfectly to this one? So for instance, I have an article on um, the best rabbit foods so I will certainly be including that link within this article because it's relevant and it will really help um, with the Google indexing so um, there you go guys I hope you found that helpful uh, please if you did um, leave, please subscribe to the channel leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, hope you liked it thanks again and see you again soon